Hey guys, uh, it's time for your first review video of 6th grade. Um, this is for your science unit test on waves. Um, the way I suggest you do these review videos, videos can't talk, is um, that you watch them. When I get to a topic, pause it, think about it, see if you understand it. If not, go look in your notes, come back to the video later. Uh, you can make a, this three minute video last an hour, two hours. Think of this as an audio study guide. Uh, things that you need to study in order to do well on the test. If you understand everything that I'm talking about in this video, you should do pretty well. Okay? So, we're going to talk about transverse waves and longitudinal waves. You're going to need to know the parts of the transverse wave and the parts of the longitudinal wave. Remember that light is, for our purposes, a transverse wave. It's an electromagnetic wave, but we didn't really get into what an electromagnetic wave was. Uh, sound is an example of a longitudinal wave. Remember, that's the one that has the squishy parts and the stretchy parts, the compressions and the rarefactions. We're going to talk about um, why you can't hear sound in space, uh, why sound is uh, affected by the medium that it travels through. You're going to need to know the parts of the ear, the parts of the eye, how they work. Um, you will see the diagrams on the test and, and you will have to label some of the parts. Um, you will also need to uh, be able to identify the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, if you remember one of the weird um, sayings we had on the board, you should do fine with that. They're basically, there are all of them there, and there's a, a set of seven boxes that says the highest energy and the lowest energy. I've even given you one. The very first one with the highest energy is gamma rays, and you have to put the rest, the other six, in order in their positions. Pretty simple. Um, you're also going to talk about um, absorption, refraction, reflection, scattering, um, about transparent, translucent, and opaque. We didn't really get to talk about that too much, but basically transparent is something that light can easily go through. Translucent is something that light can kind of go through, uh, and, and opaque is something that casts a shadow. It doesn't allow light to go through. A good example is uh, transparent is uh, wax paper. Uh, translucent, or excuse me, transparent is uh, like cellophane wrap, uh, translucent is wax paper, and uh, opaque is uh, aluminum foil. Okay. Um, you're also going to talk about color and uh, color blindness, what, what color is, why we see colors, um, how color is just a perception of the way we get signals based on the colors of the wavelengths of the colors of light that go into our eyes. Um, let's see what else. I think that might be about it. Basically, it's everything that's in the notes. Uh, I'm going through and uh, writing the test right now. Um, if it's a video we watched, um, it's probably part of it. If it's um, notes we've taken, definitely part of it. Uh, if it's an experiment we did about the color addition and color subtraction, that's going to be part of it as well. Um, I've shared with everyone the YouTube playlist of the videos that I've showed, so if you want to look back over any of those, and if you have any questions, email me, um, and I can get to, to you this weekend. The bonus question. If you're watching this, you will hear the answer to one of the bonus questions. Please don't give this to people who don't watch the video, because I want to give you a little little something for actually you know, taking the time to watch this video. Um, the answer is going to be E.T. I'm going to play the theme from a movie and you're gonna know the answer because you watch this video and the movie is E.T. So there you go. Uh, good luck with the test and I will see you on Monday. Have a good weekend.